Seven year old girl in critical condition after being hit by a car while she was walking to school. Uh, police ended up arresting the driver who they believe was under the influence of something at the time of the crash. Fox 40's Zach Boeto talked with a Fairfield Sassoon District spokesperson. He joins us live from right outside Grange Middle School in Fairfield where this happened earlier today. Zach. Eric, at last check, that 11-year-old girl is still in critical condition in a local hospital here in Fairfield. And those Fairfield police officers tell me she was in this crosswalk here on East Tabor Avenue, a very busy road here in Fairfield, when she was hit. A very busy intersection where Blossom Avenue meets East Tabor Avenue outside of Grange Middle School in Fairfield. This is where Fairfield police say 32-year-old Fairfield resident Elena Lindsay McGraw Ogins was allegedly driving while intoxicated with children in her Chevy sedan when she hit an 11-year-old girl crossing the street. So this morning while um, one of the students here at Grange Middle School was on her way to school, she was just crossing and um, in the crosswalk and a vehicle struck her. Um, emergency services were called and she was rushed to the hospital immediately. The victim, a Grange Middle School sixth grader, was transported to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The Fairfield Sassoon School District says the middle school has no crossing guards because of staffing shortages and hiring difficulties. Other Grange students after school Thursday saying the intersection needs more supervision. Also saying the intersection is very busy before and after school. Adding more crossing guards would make it safer for kids. The intersection is also a main component of the city's Grange Middle School Safe Routes to School project, aiming to add improvements to the area to make it safer for students to walk to school. However, the additions are currently under construction and not set to be completed until next month. The city of Fairfield is actually working on their Safe Routes to School project right now. It started in January and it's set to end in April. And that project aims to provide a safer way for students to get to and from school by adding flashing beacons and stripes in the lanes. Um, and so that's what you see this construction. District officials hope in the future the improvements do just that. So obviously, if you're a parent and you're driving through here, please slow down. And if you're talking to your student, remind them of traffic caution. It is heartbreaking. And um, hopefully with those improvements, this kind of thing doesn't happen again. Back out here live, Eric, I will say there are about a dozen or at least a dozen school zone signs and, and, and speed check signs that are here on East Tabor Avenue by Grange Middle School warning drivers to be slow around the school in this school zone. But this crash still happened. Uh, Grange Middle School tells me there will be mental health services here at the school during school hours um, for students and faculty as long as there needs to be. Live in Fairfield, covering local news that matters, Zach Boletto, Fox 40 News.